In this video, I'll be introducing Alderi Vault as a powerful web interface that automatically aggregates reports and results from the Alderi tool suite across multiple programs, projects, and even between OEMs and their suppliers. This includes everything from code review results, code coverage analysis, unit test results, to traceability, and more. These capabilities speed up and reduce the cost of meeting compliance goals. Alderi Vault organizes, tallies, and stores verification artifacts, so I can easily enhance action and improve my test process. Today, I'll focus specifically on the code review and code coverage portions of Alderi Vault. Here on the Alderi Vault landing page, you'll see a list of all projects I have access to. Each project contains components or sub-projects. This helps in being able to manage and run multiple projects so that I can meet single or multiple tests or certification goals simultaneously. More specifically, ISO 26262 compliance for automotive certification, AC 62443 for security standards, or DO 178C levels A through E if you need to meet the exacting standards for avionics or military software. Let's dive into the tunnel lighting system example to explore some of the results. Tunnel is an example of a potential safety critical embedded application that requires rigorous testing to ensure standards are met for safety. In this case, ISO 26262, and that the embedded connected application is safe from security vulnerabilities. In this project, we have multiple components. As you can see, there have been 28 uploads to the primary component for this project. The component overview page gives us a quick summary of the project's current state. We can see how many static analysis violations there are, presented with the heat map profile, highlighting files with the most violations. Additionally, there's a summary of coverage data showcasing files with the least coverage. The source file tab provides more detailed information for each file, including the number of procedures, header files, static analysis violations, and coverage. When meeting standards for safe and secure software, programming standards are an essential part of that process. LDRA Vault stores and collates LDRA's class leading standards checking for MISRA, CERT, and CWE, a requirement for any certification program and mandated by the government. Tables, and as we can see here, heat maps, allow users and managers to easily navigate results to see an overview of current conformance status and actionable information for managing and improving test process results. Scrolling down, you can also find the file by file coverage details here. We'll skip the unit test tab for now that will be coming up in a later video. The upload tab lists all of the uploads for this project, showing which user uploaded each set of results along with a snippet of details for each upload. From here, you can also compare different uploads to see any specific changes between them. LDRA also offers additional features such as milestones and creating snapshots, which we will cover in a future video. But for now, we're going to focus on the trend information. At the top, we have static analysis trend graph that, show, that tracks how violations change based on snapshots, uploads, or milestones. The code coverage trend graph provides coverage data over each upload. This shows how the structural coverage has changed over time hopefully improving, but at times declining if more files are added to a project or other changes have been made. Additionally, you'll find metrics for total cyclometric complexity, unit test pass rate, and the total number of files in their project. Lastly, I want to highlight the change analysis tab. This feature tracks any source code changes across files. It lists all associated sequences that require regression new sequences, impacted test cases, new files if any have been added to your project, and a detail of any changed source files, specifically what has changed within those source file results. So in this case, there's one less static analysis violation with the latest change. Elderly Vault simplifies the compliance process for distributed teams by collecting all relevant information in one place presenting it in an easy to understand format. 
At the same time, it maintains the detailed reports necessary to prove compliance with your safety standards. This here is the MISR Compliance Overview Report and listed off as well in the same report structure there are all of the reports that I have generated thus far in this project. In summary, Elder Revolt is a highly scalable solution, adapting well to distributed teams, helping them achieve compliance with their safety and security standards that are mandated. It can be automatically populated through CICD workflows and generates digestible graphics so you can see the status of a project at a glance. Thank you for watching this introduction to LDA Vault. Stay tuned for more videos where we'll dive deeper into other features and capabilities.